My first introduction to Mariah's Pass came 12 years ago in the form of Microsoft Train Simulator, and it opened my eyes to what was to become a major part of my life, train simulation. Now we see that RSC has developed their own version of this mainline for Railworks, but we're not here to compare it to the past. We're here to see this simulator's future. Does it continue to push Railworks forward in realism? We'll head for the pass at the rail yard. Mariah's Pass includes the 150 miles of the Burlington Northern Santa Fe High Line subdivision from Whitefish to Shelby, Montana. A trip over this line takes at least four hours and can be longer if your train is heavy. The route is set in the modern era, although a little imagination can take you back to when it was still owned by the Great Northern Railway. The traffic on this line is mostly freight, but Amtrak operates the Empire Builder from Chicago to Seattle over the route. The custom structures such as stations and bridges fit the scenes, and the trees and bushes fill the route nicely. This does mean it requires a good computer to run on, but if you can already run railworks with good frame rates, this should be okay. The track work is very smooth. Trains ease in and out of super elevated curves, and the great transitions do work well. Overall, the detail is phenomenal, and the route definitely brings you into the world that it creates. The track includes two locomotives, a BNSF ES44DC and an SW1500 switcher. Both engines look great, and the sounds are good, although the horn on the Jeevo does cut off a bit quickly. I do like that this route includes new intermodal cars, which look more realistic than those used in Donna, and there are some other new freight cars as well. The detailing on these is sharp, though the sounds are a bit weak for a heavy freight train. There's also an SD40-2 add-on for this route. This pack includes two Burlington Northern and two BNSF locomotives, with a few hoppers and oversized load flat cars thrown in. The models are good, but the sounds are a bit of a letdown. It's the same default sounds with an incorrect horn. The four activities included are fine, although there are engineers and trailing units. I would probably only get this set if you really want these extra locomotives for the pass. Certain issues that plagued previous add-ons have been addressed, such as removing engineers from trailing locomotives for the main activities, fixing the stretchy couplers, and forcing dynamic brakes to kick in before they can be used. Unfortunately, the train brakes still apply and release way too quickly, removing one of the more interesting aspects of modern mountain railroading.
There are eight scenarios included with the route. Two are training runs, three involve switching, and three have you out on the main line. They all work as designed, but they don't quite capture the feel of North American railroading. For example, one scenario has you taking a train of empty refrigerator cars to a meat packing plant that has no direct railroad access, which seems unrealistic. Also, none of the activities go from one end of the route to the other. To recreate a route this large and well detailed and not make full use of it is kind of unfortunate. This is a great route, and easily RSC's best North American pack to date. What remains to be improved is definitely achievable in future packs, and they've shown signs of that improvement here. If your main priority is having a main line going through beautiful scenery, then you will love it. I give Marias Pass for Railworks along with the SD40-2 add-on my seal of approval with a final score of 90%.